Hello cat people! How are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are talking about palettes part 5! A lot, a lot of things have changed since part 4. First of all, I have moved, so you see, a new apartment, a new background, new everything! Secondly, I have added many palettes to my collection, so now my collection is bigger and this makes me a lot happier. Now, if you're interested about this specific makeup, I have already uploaded a step-by-step -step tutorial for it. Uh, it's already here at my channel and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box or if I can I will leave it up here so you can click it and it's gonna be easier for you. Basically this is the collaboration that I had with Bragg Beauty where I was reviewing their palette. So of course I'm gonna start today's video by this palette right here. This is from Bragg Beauty Stay Wild, the, the palette that I used for this makeup right here. So this is inside a 9 pan palette full of bright colors. I really enjoy that they haven't included even one neutral color. Of course there is nothing wrong with neutrals, but personally I don't prefer doing my makeup with neutrals. I can definitely understand how useful they are. I can definitely understand you if you like them. This is the most normal choice, you know, but I really enjoy that color story that I have this many choices to play and do my makeup and I don't know if you have watched the tutorial but the thing is that I'm very very pleased with um, the quality, the pigmentation and everything so for me it's a hit and actually I think that I have a code with them so if you're interested uh, my code is CATLADY15 you can go and have 15% discount although that this video is irrelevant about Bragg Beauty and their product now let's go to something older in my collection here we have Morphe X Jeffree Star palette let me show it to you okay removing the plastic here is the palette this palette has everything like it has the neutrals it has some glitters it has shimmery shadows it has pinkish like purplish uh, mattes it's a very nice color story in my mind yeah i know that i said that i don't really enjoy neutrals but it has like this pink right here these two and i feel that it's a very very helpful palette while the other one for example was more of a companion palette you can have a lot of looks by only having this one palette right here i don't know your opinion about jeffree star these days yeah i don't like him that much as a person but i cannot say that he is not doing good quality products and since i enjoy having this palette in my collection i feel like i want to mention it because I don't know, it was kind of affordable. I think I bought it with a discount, so I paid like 20 euros. 20 euros for this palette, it's like a great price. So yeah, I would recommend this uh, palette. I don't know, basically, write down in the comments what do you feel about Jeffree Star? I think it's gonna be a very interesting conversation. Let's move on and here we have the, another collaboration actually, the collaboration that Uden Sai had with Fancy Face and Tina. So this is the palette Hummingbird, let me show it to you. Actually another very nice, colorful, playful and bright palette. I enjoyed the duochrome so much, I don't know, like we have time for some swatches because I really feel like swatching. First of all look at here at my finger, but I want to swatch it for you. It's a very unique eyeshadow. I don't know if the camera can focus to that and show the shift. Like, it's amazing. Also, of course, I enjoy the shimmery blue and that lagoon, which is a very deep blue. Like, wow. And then, of course, we have the shimmery greens. This palette is also very, very nice. And the quality, I don't know if you have tried anything from Wooden Side, but the quality is amazing like they have done a great job they have improved themselves palette through palette so i feel that whatever they release it's kind of a guarantee for me in my mind of course they can't be a video without me mentioning colourpop of course not so here we have misunderstood from colourpop basically it's a collaboration that colourpop had with disney and this palette is devoted to disney villains so it's kinda dark, it's moody and I really love it. I know that I have said it a lot of times, but what can I do? That's the truth, people. So we have a very nice deep blue, this time not shimmery, so I can combine it very, very easily with the previous palette from the Fancy Face. We have some greens, some blacks, actually, 
I love this one. It's very unique. It's black with silver shimmer. Like, it's amazing. And if you feel that you want to kind of deepen your look, this palette has everything, like from blue to black to green, uh, purplish. To me, it's more of a companion palette because I'm thinking, like, you can use it by itself, but I personally use it if I want to deepen up a look. So for this uh, purpose, to me, it's just a perfect palette. And I don't know if it is still there or if they have discontinued this, because that's the thing with Colourpop and their collections. They might keep a collection like for months, like they have done with... Uh, oh, was it Sailor Moon? I think, yeah, they have that collection for more than a year. I think they have done the same with this collection as well. And then out of nowhere, it disappeared. So I don't really know if they have restocked that because last time that I checked, it was out of stock or if they have discontinued it completely. If they don't have discontinued it, like I definitely recommend you to try it. Next palette is actually a very, very old palette of mine. This is from I Love Revolution, which is a child company from Makeup Revolution. And this is the Unicorn Makeup Pigment Palette. I hate it with all my heart. And I know I said very nice words from all the previous palettes, but now it's time to say something very negative. But yeah, like this palette is bad. As you can see, I haven't really finished that color but it was that awful that I took this and I blend it with white body paint in order to create the pink that I have used to create my uh, Sleeping Beauty body paint and that's how I'm planning to use the rest of the palette because I don't want to make waste. So yeah, I bought it like 5 euros, I bought it when I was getting into the makeup phase. For now it was acceptable it was never good i just bought it for you know the packaging because it's unicorn and i cannot really resist and look at all the stars and it has a good packaging for five euros not a good packaging in general but yeah the quality is awful i think it's discontinued it was a wise choice to discontinue this palette but yeah i think that i'm gonna use it but not in the proper way like I might even use it in crafts because I'm planning to do a lot of crafts in 2022 so hopefully I can kind of find a way to not just put it in the trash. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. So I saw this palette and I decided to tell you the word for unicorn. Like to me it's the cutest word that I can find. So that's kind of perfect and I'm super super enthusiastic about that. Anyway, long story short, in Greek we say monokeros, say with me, mo, no, ke, ros, monokeros. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the word monokeros and actually why not, say it in your own native language. It's gonna be extra fun, I love this word, so please, 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 I wanna learn it in as many words, no, not words, languages. I want to know it in as many languages as possible. Last but definitely not least, we have this palette right here. This is Aids of Opulence from Beauty Bay and let me open it for you. So here we have the perfect combination of purples, blues and green. Yeah, we have some more neutral-ish shades like the browns and stuff like that, but no one's perfect. No, no, no. I'm joking. Of course we need some neutrals. Uh, but I'm very happy that this palette actually do not contain a lot of them and they actually focus on colors and especially deep colors and especially my favorite colors. I mean, these two rows are just perfect for me. Let me tell you my opinion about Beauty Bay formula. So basically, their shimmers are good, but they need to be slightly better to be perfect but their mattes are super wow. They are opaque, they are buildable, they are just great. I don't know if you can find this palette these days because I think that it was limited edition and nowadays it's been already discontinued. But if you can find it, I will make sure that I will include a link down below because you need this palette in your collection. No, of course you don't need anything, but it's a very good palette and um, I think I paid something like 
15 euros or something like that. I'm not really sure because it's been a while. But even if it was 20, it definitely worth the money. We are talking about uh, 20, yeah, 20 shadows. So yeah, <laughs> it's a big pass from me. And that was it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the fifth part of my palette collection. I hope that you actually had a good time watching this video. If yes, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Either makeup or just chit chat, you know, you can find a lot of videos here. Also, I have Instagram people. My Instagram account is catladyandigoni down here you can go and follow me there in order to see some content that i cannot really upload here on youtube like q a's or unboxings or stuff like that so don't forget to visit me there if you want to give me any ideas about future makeup tutorials if you want to say which was your favorite palette from part 5 of my collection or actually your favorite palette from your own collection don't forget to leave a comment down below thank you so so much for being here with me today and till next time bye bye